Teleodia champs, and yes, it's 2021. Happy New Year to you guys, yes. And in 2021, we're going to crush it, aren't we? We're going to crush it. Hit the like button if we're going to crush it. Subscribe. Hit the bell because CES is coming. It's going to be awesome. And today, we're going to talk about, well, the 2021 XPS 15, XPS 17, baby. We pretty much know what's going in it. I mean, Intel have told us about their next generation, 11th generation H part, so we know that. We know the RTX graphics are coming. What's going to happen with AMD? Well, let's discuss it. All right, so first of all, it's going to take a while for everyone to catch up to the XPS sexiness, right? I reckon there'll probably only be Apple, maybe there might be some other manufacturers, one or two laptops here or there, but nothing's going to look like the XPS for a while, and we know it's going to look exactly the same as last year's model. I can't believe I'm saying last year. Yes, last year's model. I haven't talked to you since last year, guys. Come on. But I guess we should start at when we might see the next XPS 15 and 17. Now, we know the situation of delays and all that. I don't have to go over that. But if we think about the last XPS 15 and 17, when they were supposed to come out was late March, early April. They didn't come out to what? July, was it? Mid-year, somewhere around there. So they were well delayed and you couldn't even get all the components. It was a long time until you could get the i9 and I'm so glad it's 2021. Hopefully things are getting better. I honestly expect the XPS 15, 17 to come out that same sort of time frame late March, April. So we should find a lot more out in CES in regards to, you know, the 3000 series GPUs from NVIDIA, AMD graphics, are they gonna have new ones based on our DNA too? And what's gonna happen with the AMD CPUs as well? We know what's happening with the Intel ones, but AMD, are they gonna to go to the 5000 series now? And believe me, you want to wait with AMD because those 5000 series are going to be much better. Even though the current ones are amazing, those AMD 5000 desktop CPUs are just, wow, they're just much better than whatever, the 4000 or the 3000 desktop CPUs. So the design's going to be exactly the same. We know that. I'm going to say that the displays will be exactly the same. Nothing wrong with that. Awesome displays. But it's inside where it's going to be different. Will there be an AMD version? Well, I don't think so. Maybe a special edition, but they're not going all AMD. There's no chance of that. The reality is Intel, NVIDIA, they're still the big dogs. And most of the laptops are going to come out, especially the more premium ones, which the XPS 15 is and 17. They're going to come out with Intel and NVIDIA. Now, we know what the Intel CPU is. They've already said what it's going to be. It's going to be 11th generation. It's going to be Tiger Lake. It's going to be based on 14 nanometer but new architecture. So it's gonna have the Sunny Cove architecture that you get on the 10 nanometer chips. So I've done plenty of videos on 1165G7 and 1185G7. Check out those reviews, but it's basically the architecture of them, but on 14 nanometer. So why 14 nanometer still? There's sort of been three reasons touted here. One, just yields are better with 14 nanometer. Intel's 14 nanometer is just like bulletproof. They know it inside out. They can get 14 nanometer to clock really high, with the 10 nanometer, they can't get them to clock that high. And Intel can't even keep up with 14 nanometer, never mind 10 nanometer. A lot of people are saying, oh, Intel's finished and all this. They can't even make enough CPUs. The 14 nanometer are all delayed. Like, it's still hard to get a 10,900 or an i9. How are they screwed when they can't even keep up with demand? So, <laughs> I mean, eventually they may get screwed if they don't pull their finger out. But this new CPU is going to be no joke. Even though it's 14 nanometer, it's supposed to have 20% IPC gains. And I did see one sort of leak that set up to 16 cores on the H parts. I don't believe that. What we've been told is there's going to be 8 cores. AMD could easily go to 16 cores. They're only giving us 8 cores at the moment because they only have to give us 8 cores. But even if it's 8 cores, we're going to have better power efficiency, which we really do need. The new architecture should be more power efficient, better performance per watt. I don't expect big differences in that regard, but the big thing is the 20% IPC gain. So it's virtually like adding another two cores, but it's gonna be a good CPU. Also, Thunderbolt should be built in. So we should have Thunderbolt 4 on the XPS 15s and 17s. And because it's Thunderbolt 4, which is USB 4.0 as well, and because we got the new CPUs based on Sunny Cove architecture, we should not have to have Thunderbolt controllers on the XPS 15 and 17, which means probably the XPS 15 can have three Thunderbolt 3s now because one of them was USB Type-C. You don't need a Thunderbolt controller if it's built into the CPU. So it can be Thunderbolt 4 all the way through these XPSs. 
Hopefully they do have an AMD special edition, but the problem there is you'll still need Thunderbolt controllers or USB 4.0 controllers or something like that. We can only hope, can't we? But I'm still pumped. And by the way, Dell have all these New Year sales. There's like big discounts on everything, 15%, 20%. The 360 hertz monitor was like just over $1,000 here in Australia. I'm going to review that soon. That turned me into a gaming god. So if you can get a deal, I think it's still worth buying the XPS 15 and 17 right now. But I'm going to wait personally because they don't have a white version with an i9. They don't have a white XPS 17, which I don't think they're ever going to have. And also you might want to consider MacBook Pro 16 as well, which I will do another video on very soon. Because they may have an Intel version and like an M1 version, which will be very interesting. Because when you think about these premium laptops that use NVIDIA GPUs and Intel CPUs, the bill of materials for those two products is very high. It's like like a massive part of the cost of the overall unit. When Apple are using M1s, they don't have to pay that, right? They might actually have a cheap MacBook Pro 16. That, yeah, well, we'll discuss that in another video. Now, when it comes to GPU, well, of course, it's going to be NVIDIA. Again, they may have a special edition AMD, but you can pretty much bank on it's going to be NVIDIA and Intel. And what are we going to get for GPU? Well, the 3000 version of what we already have in these units. So that's awesome. So the XPS 17, 3060, something like that, it should beat a 2070. It should beat that. So an XPS 17 is going to have more power than the 2070 GPU wise. Wow, that's going to be awesome. Now with the XPS 15, please, Dell, come on. We need at least six gigabytes of video memory. We can't have four gigabytes of video memory in 2021. In fact, I don't even know if I'll buy it if it does have that. I mean, the 1650 Ti is good. It does what you need to do, video editing, stuff like that, and even gaming is fine. But the competition has eight gigabytes of video memory. We need at least six in the XPS 15. And at a guess, I think it's going to be a 2050. Now, the 2050 should have six gigabytes of video memory, hopefully. I doubt it's going to have DDR6X. So it's going to be normal DDR6. And let's face it, they actually may even use DDR5. Who knows? But in all honesty, if it beats a 2060, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be chuffed with that. The XPS 15 is going to hammer, you know, CPUs that are 20% IPC better and, and new GPUs that are faster than the 2060, hopefully. It's going to be an awesome machine. Now, as I said before, it's going to be pricey because the bill of materials for, you know, NVIDIA and Intel. So here's the problem, right? The M1s, right? The M1 Max, MacBook Pro 16. I have a feeling Apple might keep the same price and I'll talk about that in the next video. Make sure you subscribe. But the XPS 15 and 17 is coming, baby. We know what it is. Come on. It's not hard to figure that out, and it's going to be awesome. It's going to look awesome. XPS, baby. Wolf 221, let's do it. Catch you in the next one. Tally ho.